Hey guys, welcome back. Got some new items in the mail today, so I thought I'd give you a look at them. We'll start out with some Arduinos. Some Pro Minis showed up. These are the 3.3 volt logic level flavor. I've never used these before. I always stick with the 5 volt, but I needed them for one of my RC projects coming up. If you watched my previous videos, you may have saw a hint of this, but my autopilot is controlled via the RC receiver. What I wanted is I want a signal to the autopilot to tell it to come home if the receiver dies. Problem is, if the receiver's dead, how do you get that signal to the autopilot? We use Arduino. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook an Arduino in line between the output of the receiver and the input of the autopilot. What this Arduino will be doing is simply a relay. Anything it sees in and out in normal circumstances, it'll just relay to the autopilot. What I'll do is I'll hack in a wire into the LED here, which changes state anytime the receiver loses contact with the transmitter on the ground. That's going to go into a pin on the Arduino, it's going to monitor it, so if that changes state, the Arduino, instead of being a pass-through at that time, will now change over to a fixed pulse width to tell the autopilot go into return to home mode. This will give us a, an RC drone fail-safe system for the price of these, I think, was $3. Excellent. It's going to be a fun video, guys. You'll see that coming up in the future. Next item came from Electric Imp and a huge thanks to the guys at Electric Imp for helping me out with this project. What I got from them was two dev kits. You can join their community, community at electricimp.com. Check it out guys, I'll put a link down below. It tells you how to get started. I'll show you what these are guys. Let's go ahead and get one of these out of the package and have a look. What this looks like is a standard SD card reader. It is not. These look like a standard SD card. They are indeed not. I can't believe I missed these for so long. I wasn't even aware they existed uh, in our sort of maker community, but uh, now I am. So I'm going to share with you guys. What this is inside here is a 32-bit Cortex M3 processor, believe it or not, with Wi-Fi built into it. Unbelievable. It has six user-selectable IOs. We can make it do pretty much anything. Uh, it's capable of uh, communication protocols such as SPI, UART, and I2C as well. Totally cool. Not a lot of pins, but for for some small projects for the internet of things guys unbelievable so once you get this set up it's pretty straightforward to set up and i have done this before maybe i'll show you how i've done this before maybe some of you have seen these before these this is the budweiser red light this is a hockey goal light that goes off anytime my favorite team scores a goal this is the first place i saw this here is an electric imp. Unbelievable. Uh, commercial production, one of their first uh, commercial uh, purchases, I guess, was the Budweiser Red Light. Anyway, what you do is you take your mobile phone or tablet and you download an app and you shine it, uh, put the screen against this optical, uh, the optical reader. I think it's probably just a photodiode or phototransistor or whatever. It, uh, it flashes some uh, some basic information to the card, which is basically just your login and credentials for your local Wi-Fi, and then from there, everything else is done on the online dashboard for this. And from there, you can actually use the cloud, use Electric Imp servers to do some of the heavy lifting on these guys. I think they give you about a megabyte of RAM to work with on the server. So you can you can do some some pretty cool code in the cloud. So if you wanted to send weather data down 
to affect a light or a LCD screen or whatever. But you don't want the whole darn web page going down. You can parse it in the cloud and only send the relevant information down to your imp. Way, way cool. I'm really, really excited to give this a try. It's going to be a lot of fun for an uh, upcoming project. Guys, that's about it for today. Look forward to an upcoming full video on these electric imps. And uh, we'll do some projects with them and check these out. Really glad you could join me today, guys. Good luck in all your electronics ventures.